This is CNN with Jamie Cooper. Now I'm on. Hey, it's hard to do this program. I'm under a lot of pressure in here each and every morning. But hey, I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up. What's this is a live edition of CNN. Sponsored by the News Courier, at least this first part is, so let's get it cranking right now. Grand jury to get case of dad with gun at Athens High School. Limestone County Grand Jury would decide this fall whether to formally charge an Athens man who bought, brought a loaded shotgun to Athens High School after his son was suspended. The 51-year-old is charged with making a terrorist threat. He's waived his right to preliminary hearing, which had been set today before Limestone District Judge Jerry Batts. The preliminary hearing would have been a chance for Smoke's defense attorney, Gary Clem of Athens, to determine what evidence the district attorney's office has against his client, said District Attorney Christy Valls. Because uh, DA Valls' office has an open file policy, that evidence was already available to Clem, making the hearing unnecessary. We will try to get uh, Christy Valls up here, our district attorney, to talk about that case coming up later. By the way, this portion of the show also brought to you by... Domino's Pizza, Athens, Decatur, and Hartzell. Front page of the News Courier this morning has got $50,000 worth of religious statues stolen. Religious icons taken from the Hindu Culture Center in Capshaw. Limestone County Sheriff is seeking information about the theft of two granite statues stolen from the grounds over the weekend. The black granite statues valued at $50,000 were stolen Saturday or Sunday at North Alabama's uh, Hindu Cultural Center located to 14,000 block of uh, Vitsu Way in East Limestone. So if y'all got any information, call the Sheriff's Office at 232-0111. We were unable to make it yesterday, but I appreciate Candy Jones inviting us out that way, but we just could not get there. But Camp Hope, uh, uh, this is some pictures. This is Laura and Terry right here with Alcy Wise uh, to a magic show presented by the Limestone Technical Enrichment High School students at Camp Hope. Camp Hope gives children the support they need after experiencing the loss of a loved one. They've been doing this for several years now. 54 campers took part in the day event. The camp also marked the second year for Camp Hope Teen for Children 12 to 15. So I'm sorry we couldn't make it yesterday, Candy, but uh, try to get that on there as much as we can. Hey, also, this is our 20, you saw this ad in the uh, Athens News Courier yesterday. We are celebrating 20 years of morning television, being the highest rated morning show ever to be seen, done by me, anywhere in 20 years. So I figure we do it, Gloria's been doing it 12, I've been doing it 20, you know. So basically, I want to thank all my buddies like Ray Stillman and everybody else over in the Huntsville area for helping us do that. 